Hi everyone, this is your host John Smith coming to you with another episode of the Efficiency Hour podcast. As all of you industry folks know, Europe has been going through some economic turmoil recently due to high energy costs and other supply chain issues. But according to reports, things may finally be turning around. It seems the energy shocks that were straining economies are starting to subside, allowing for stronger growth. Industrial output, consumer spending, and business investment are all trending up lately as energy costs fall. This is great news for sectors like manufacturing and transportation that really took a hit over the past year. However, it's not all smooth sailing from here. Raw material prices are still sky high, labor is hard to come by in many places, and environmental regulations keep getting tougher. Nowhere does this perfect storm of issues loom larger than in the textile industry. Fabric producers are getting hammered by expensive cotton, polyester, and other inputs. At the same time, finding reliable stitchers and spinners is no easy task in much of Europe these days. Oh, and don't even get me started on the push for greener operations. Water usage, chemical runoff, yada, yada, yada. It's enough to make you want to call it quits. But as the old saying goes, when one door closes, another one opens. And in this case, friends, the open door is innovation, specifically investing in efficient machinery and automated solutions. That's where a company called SunTech Textile Machinery comes in. For over 50 years, these folks have been designing top-notch tools to solve problems just like the ones I mentioned. Electric warp beam trolleys to reduce labor, intelligent fabric inspection tech to minimize waste, Heck, they even have robot packers to box up bolts of broadcloth while you kick back with a cappuccino. By integrating technologies from SunTech and others, textile factories can stay profitable even as costs climb ever upward. Less hands-on work means surviving labor shortages too. And with energy smart machines, the green cops will be off your back in no time. The name of the game isn't just recovery for Europe, it's long-term resilience. The textile plants that make upgrades like these will thrive no matter what new challenges come their way. So in summary, folks, while the road ahead may be bumpy, bright days are ahead for efficient European manufacturers. Stay tuned to future episodes of the Efficiency Hour podcast, where I'll explore even more ways innovative tools can help industries conquer today's turmoil. For now, thanks as always for listening.